is up guys welcome back to vlog number two of my downwind series i'm shooting for this winter season so i'm headed back over to la ventana once again to do another downwind run with my good friend richard and this run today is not a super long run it's the same one we did uh, last week which is around a 6k run so not super long but long enough to have a good time and get some learning in there as well today's wind conditions are looking not super super strong but strong enough to get some good swell the wind's looking to be around 20 to 25 knots so it should still be a really fun time but if you happen to miss the first vlog video i shot the other week i'm basically going out this whole winter season to improve upon my downwinding skills and that's an area that i lack a ton of experience in this is only like my fourth time going out so i definitely am I'm looking forward to winter time to going out a whole lot more to really improve on these skills that i lack a lot in even though I've been paddling for years on the water, most of those paddling sessions have been either on flat water or also in chopping conditions, but not a lot in downwind conditions, mostly because on these downwind runs, you kind of need a secondary person to go with, um, not only for safety, but also for just having a vehicle. So when you go to the starting location, you can just leave a vehicle there, and then obviously you already have a secondary vehicle at the end location. That just helps make the whole process obviously go way smoother. And so. Thankfully, this winter season, I have a good friend, Richard, who will be joining me a lot in these sessions to um, also improve in his downwinding skills. But as we go out together, we have two vehicles to make the whole experience just way better for the both of us. So through this winter season, I'm going to be shooting a lot of these vlog style videos for my downwind series. And as I go through the whole journey of learning from my personal experience, I hopefully through that, you can learn from my mistakes and improve upon your downwinding skills as well. So that's one goal I had to do for this winter season is improve my downwinding. As well as another goal I have this winter season is to improve my strength training for, for next race season in the summertime. But I'm curious for you guys, what are some goals that you have for this winter season where you're at? I would love to hear what those are in the comments down below as you look to improve upon your abilities as well. But with all that being said here, let's head over to La Ventana for our downwind session today. So I'll catch you guys on the beach.
Well, that wraps up today's downwind session. I would say it was like a so-so session. Started off incredible. I headed out. Um, just start off my knees first to kind of get out to some deeper waters where some better swell is happening. And got up on my board and probably for the first 10 to 15 minutes, or at least I think it was about 10 to 15 minutes, um, I was doing so good. Like, felt confident on the board, wasn't falling at all. And I was like, wow, this is incredible. Like, this is way better than my last week's session. And I must have learned quite a bit. And then let's just say soon after that, for the rest of the session, I fell a lot. <laughs> Uh, there's a few reasons for that. The first one still is still learning how to properly ride this board um, in the downwind swells. Just learning how the board reacts to the smaller swell and occasionally we had a few larger swells today. And just learning how or where I need to position myself on the board in order to best ride those swells um, without falling off my board with my nose digging too far into the water in front of me or being too far back from my board and causing my board to stall on the swell also. So. Still very much a learning curve. I'm um, still a lot to learn through this whole entire process, obviously. So in the middle of session, I was getting a little frustrated once again, because I was falling quite a bit. And I think for the few swells, I was trying to be a little too aggressive. And I ended up falling off my board as well, trying to be too aggressive in the swell versus trying to just let the swell come to me and jumping on it when it came up behind me. So, but that pretty much wraps up today's video. And like always, if you have any questions about downwinding, or maybe you're someone who has way more experience when it comes to downwinding and want to give me some tips or pieces of advice, I highly encourage you to write those down in the comments down below. I'd love to respond to you. So anyways, thanks for watching today. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Catch you guys in the next video.